Sana, a big tune that is that is the gay de Longuer and the fusion music star they came on the show they played it and we loved it with their permission we kept it because you loved it too song in it was shika simu our new jam ya kufungua show na good vibes thank you very much for joining us and a very warm welcome to you uh asante sana for joining us for yet another classic episode of the show i'm your host dr kingori today's episode is hot on very many fronts it's a follow-up on one of the episodes to mefanya's uh, military and due to your requests we had to cover another unique angle uh we are addressing the time bomb of former military officers who have left the service and have no idea how to come back home one of our guests scored 432 marks in kcp he joined high school aka ace bado akapata a minus akaachia kampo katikati he joined university akaachia katikati to join the military where he rose to be a commander of a special unit but later lost everything how did that happen he's here to share his story with us plus his journey to recovery john mwangi is in the house <laughs> ah, Asante sana maze. Pleasure, pleasure kuwa nae. We also have in studio the wife to a former military officer to share the experience of being married to a serviceman. Hii ni angle interesting sana ilikampia. Tukajiambia, ilikam, tukajiambia tuwezi yacha. Hii tuendanao kwa story and we're very honored to have Mary Wanjera in the house. Ah, maze. Asante sana. And to help us navigate this conversation, here for the second time, the first ever psychologist to be employed by the KDF, retired Major Wairimo Mukuria, is in the house. We'll be breaking down the topic in a bit. But first, so much has gone down since our last episode. Baba the artist has released his first song. <laughs> Yeah, manze in reaction some Kenyans love it, loved it. Some walikuwa in between, wengine wakasema afadhali wasikize kisiagi. <laughs> Now, upande wangu, upande wangu it was the intro for me. DJ. Pana leta mchanganyiko. For your information, mchanganyiko ni mix. Utaambiaje? <laughs> Utaambiaje DJ asiweke mix? DJ. <laughs> By the way, on a very serious note, mchanganyiko ni mix ukweli and in fact even ndio watu wa TZ who vibe wakitaka kusema DJ so and so is in the mix. Like for real. Hati tuko na DJ Joe Mfalme kwenye mchanganyiko. Wapi kelele? Uh, wapi kelele alafu anaeka ngoma ya Rington. Now I, <laughs> now I think I think this will be Baba's new campaign song for the season. Nilikuwa nangoja verse lakini wapi? Baba went full blown DJ Khalid. As in alikuwa anapiga tu mahype huko katikati. Funny that it's not only artists who want to become politicians. Now even politicians now want to become artists. <laughs> yes. Now this week on campaign promises advocate uh, high court advocate actually George Wajakoya broke the internet with his promise to legalize bang if elected president to help clear the chinese debt <laughs> talk of bangiku ya kenya <laughs> in simple terms if wajakoya gets elected as president kenyans may have to smoke bang worth of a 7 trillion <laughs> <How could it? laughs> and uh, just like that our national debt would go up in smoke at asasa hiyo ni a thicker road ni washie kingine eh manje eh hiyo ni a thicker road ni washie kingine sgr and chain chain manze talk of um a head on approach to the high interest rates lakini hata kama ni promises hiyo ni promise gani Unajua vizuri vile wa Kenya ukua bila kuvuta kitu. 
Huyu ukimpa responsibility ya kuvuta bangi ya 7 trillion unamfanyia nini? Na one thing uh, for sure is that if Wajakoya gets elected as president national anthem itakuwa kishashi. Na, <laughs> na unajua unajua hata wazezi kwanza hata wanaweza kosa kujua hiyo ni nini. Hii hey, nyumba tumebarikiwa kila mtu anayedaga kanisa, kila mtoto unaona hapa amelelewa kishashi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kila mtu hata huyo ako na macho mekudu. <laughs> eh, hey, kishashi kishashi kishashi. <laughs> But then again even simple mathematics what makes the government more money between kuza bangi moja 10 bob ndio kule 16% ya VAT ama kushika mtu mmoja na bangi ya 10 bob unampiga fine ya 5 million <laughs> simple mathematics and that was just one of Wajakoya's promises he also promised to stretch weekends by a day so that Kenyans can have three days of no work what mshashimiwa does not know <laughs> Eh hey, my what Mshashimiwa does not know is that with the unemployment rate Kenyans already have seven days of no work. <laughs> he also promised uh, he also promised to appoint eight prime ministers to his cabinet and after listening to the other promises in his manifesto haters say they now understand where the bang is coming in. Ati hata ajangoja achaguliwe is already long. He's already rolling out his manifesto. <laughs> Now to give credit where credit is due as far as promises and ideas are concerned before a Congolese senator spoiled it I loved this one here by the deputy president William Ruto He mambo ya maziwa if we double the production of milk and it doesn't require rocket science na tuuze hata tuache kuuza nyingi tukiuza hata 3 billion liters tukiuza 3 billion liters na tuko na soko kuanzia hapa DRC hao watu wako na 90 million people hawana hata hawana ngombe moja hii <laughs> hii DRC watu ya kuimba hii kuna hii watu ya sio ni kwanda bongoma nani nani hawa wa kuimba na wanafunga suruali wanafungia hapa hii watu <laughs> twende tuwauzie maziwa Now isn't that a treat from the usual insults traded in political meetings? Sounds like a very good economic plan. You make a promise with a clear plan on how to implement it. This is an idea that can work, but if Wajakoya becomes the fifth, the three billion liters of milk will not even be enough for the local market ya kupunguza makali ya bangi. Na kwa hiyo clip ya DP by the akuambia kanda bongoma ni poa manzi. Kanda bongoma nani nani hawa wa kuimba. Na wanafunga suruali wanafungia hapa. Kwanza that is luku shaming. Kwanza but that's not was Captain Otoyo alisema nga hawa kina kanda bongoman juu ya kufunga trouser huku anatoa nga wale tu kuna hivi. <laughs> <laughs> Now the DP's idea on milk export sounded great until a Congolese senator anaitwa Francine Muyumba came out kusema hiyo story yote ni uongo. Ati Kongo kumejama ngombe. <laughs> Ikisema hivyo mzee na sound ni kama madam senator alijipiga on goal ati Kongo imejama ngombe. <laughs> In Kenya that will be politicized immediately. My brother when you see us following Baba like cows. Ah manzi. <laughs> Now still on politics the 10th and the 35th this week redeemed themselves from the haters claims that they have no presence qua ground after this evidence surfaced. So there you have it. <laughs> yes. Weta na muda wameshika ground. <laughs> Now mzee to the main subject of our show when we first hosted uh, former KDF officers on the show akina Byron Adera the and the first ever military psych, uh, psychologist in the force retired major Wairimu Mukuria told us that soldiers get trained on how to go to war but are never trained on how to come back home. Now we have former servicemen who went back to civilian lives but are struggling to adapt to be ordinary citizens. We decided to set up an episode with a former KDF officer, uh, the former KDF psychologist and a wife of a former uh, KDF officer for the intrigues of what the life is like. Please allow me nisilete kirere kwa hii part juu hii story ni moto sana manzi. Our guests are joining us on the other end of this short commercial break. See you guys in a bit.
Welcome back to the weekend edition Manze show nzito sana as I promised you in moto kabisa in fact here to Wezi Mandiza leo we'll extend it and you will see the worth in extending it tuko na my guest kadha uh, but first I'll introduce when you will go with for the first round uh, a wife oh a wife to a former KDF officer and it was Mary Wanjira wapi makofi yake <laughs> Asante sana alafu uh, kando yake ni a gentleman who has served this country vizuri sana John Mwangi is in the house Wazi 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 na sasa mwenyeji um, the lady who baptized me shaman pond kiss major retired major wairimo mukuria is in the house Wazi <laughs> karibuni sana karibuni sana kwa show. Eh, John I think one of the most interesting bits uh, ni ulitoka kampu first semester yeah. to join KDF. Yeah. How did that happen? So it happened that I was admitted to, K, to University of Nairobi yes. to undertake agriculture and biosystem engineering. How is called a name minus agriculture yes. and biosystem engineering. engineering uh, yes. Having scored an A minus yes. of 74 points. So the Nipofika, yes. the first semester, uh, I had a call from my former member of parliament, I told uh, Joseph Q. Nanganga, yes. and told me whether I would take a chance of becoming a cadet and uh, maybe avoid Najua Wazazi Waku on a pesa. Yes. I was too movies to yeah, Van Dam and whatever and the other things. Yes. So I had uh I come carry sana pare kwa gate, eh? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. No major mukuria can testify to that. Yeah, kukaribisho me yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Because you can go neatly like this, but by the end of the day, Johnny <laughs> Kifika ukona kinyasa. Na matope mingi sana. Na umenyolewa. Na umenyolewa if you are if you are ready umenyolewa at everything ya. Atikila. Kila mtu. Kila mtu basi. Kila mahali. Hey, it's important. It's important. It's important. Yes, yes. Ngejua huko unapigana aje na. It is such a it is not funny, but yes. uh, I was commissioned by the, uh, is it he, the president and also commander in chief. Yes. That is Uhuru, President Uhuru Kenyatta. Yes. As a second lieutenant. Second lieutenant. Yeah. Nyota Moja. Yes. Kibiriti. Yes. Kibeliti mbaya sana. Sisi diyo tunasema sasa kwa jeshi. Wachana nao wakubu wako. Nyi diyo munasema. Nyi diyo munasema. Tutafika hapo kwa pati enye serikali. Imekuachia uende useme mutani. Sa, Mary, wewe ukiwa bibi ya jeshi. Na unajua ye ni jeshi. Uneza musomea kapa mtu wakawaida. Any out of question. Iyo hakuna iyo? Iyo hakuna. Hakuna kusomeana? Aji. Hata kumuambia hivi? Jura kao. I think in every marriage you can set up yake. Maybe when you can read it na fiancee wako ama whatever. Yes. But in the case of Mr. Kamau, what I need to mean Mr. Kamau, ye ya jui kurudishiwa ama kujibiwa. Kurudisha na kujibu hazifanyangi, haziko kwa vokabulari yake. So sisi venye nimeolewa the time nimeolewa yes. even before atoke kwa jeshi tunakaanga tu kwa hiyo formula ya military tunakaa kwa hiyo ya military sababu kiatu utaosha vizuri mtaamka time na mtakula in time muombe na mpangilio na hata kulala ni mpangilio hata <laughs> <laughs> kulala ni mpangilio mpangilio <laughs> nikisema hivyo nataka kusema for those that knows me my dear kocha tulale ndio na wewe una uzingizi tena Mimi kwa nataka soap nataka kuwatch. Hapana. Soap zima TV. Ni nini? Now wait. Trudi kwa when you married him uh -huh. alikuwa KDF. Hakuwa KDF. Hakuwa KDF. Hakuwa KDF. Cuz I would be curious hii uh -huh. sheria yote inakuja uh -huh. after amesha graduate KDF. Asha ingia jeshi. 
So akisha ingia jeshi ndio tutaanza kuwa na mpangilio. But before he was a happy Mili husband. Tu. Ah, tunakaa tu ile kila mtu venye anataka. How did you notice the change? The change ili come after ametoka alitoka 94. So tukaenda pass out. Tunaona uh, uh, ningesema kwa wale watu wanaonanga movie si tukiona hiyo compact yao venye iko smart yes. kila mtu anaanza taka kuwa karibu na soja yako na six pack na unaona venye wako mbeba amezo ni jokes sio ni jokes eh na sio madem ndio mnasema anga mnataka security eh. <laughs> <laughs> yes hizo uh, ni jokes yeah. <laughs> sababu sasa ile formula ametrainiwa mahali yako akikuja home anataka muendelee na hiyo na unajua ni alikuwa training sisi yes. hatukuwa ni amkuwa <laughs> <laughs> Sasa kuna hiyo transition. Sasa so, mimi na watoto wangu uh, four children. So mimi na watoto wangu yeah. atijazoea hivyo. Yeah. So yaki kama anasema kwa nini mjamka? Kwa nini mjapika chai? Kwa nini mjaset hivi? Sasa so, unaona tunaanza ku notice kuna eh, kwendi chai iko na formula. Kwa hiyo kwa nafanya yangu mkubwa anajuka kama Fanta boy yako hapo Rongai. Yeah. <laughs> kwa nini mama hii chai tena imekuwa kazi? Sasa so, anataka anze kunya chai yake saa hizo. Papa anataka watu wakuje kwa meza ndio chai fanye nini forest yes, yes, eh yes, forest unaona ah. <laughs> eh sasa hivyo vitu kama hizo so tuni notice after ame come na mkisha eh. notice mtu ame change and that's not what you signed up for and what kept you going oh uh, actually sasa ndio naweza sema relationship yako na mtu yes. ni, ni mimi na feel i feel it's personal yes. because mimi nilimjua and i happen to be his my childhood friend because ah. tulikaa mtamoja yes yes na zile za karongo na tiktak na tapo <laughs> Wow. Yes. When mtu wa kwanza kuwa mtu wa Kalongo. Asante. <laughs> eh, naye alikuwa umpe peto na anaweza ngakuzienda. Sasa si unaona pale huko kimchangamkia. Eh. Alikuwa alafu anajua kufanya ile tulikuwa tunaita jezile nyororo ka would call it. Ronaldo. Sraido. Aya. Ni mnoma kwa Sraido hivi na hizi. Em em tulikuwa tunaita Bathari. Hiyo ya kuteleza kwa matope hivyo haezi hata alikuwa eh hizo vitu zinaza impress them okay ukiwa kwa kiji jenyu si uko mtu hii yes alafu sasa si unataka ule mtu anaweza hiyo na uka stick na yeye juu ya kina banu na hizo vitu zote eh na ni mdevi wow 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 so mi nimekuwa nikipitia these uh, things you know you you may call it what nimesikia ukiita thiriring thirira masapi yes, yeah. yes 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 i'm here now i'm not the okay mimi sasa si kwa video yenye mnaona yes, yes so yes, i yes. was there on the ground mm. so the operation to cure hopes so uh, most of and i'll just highlight on few issues in life yes there are things that be disturb you in life uh, most of the death isn't it yes a uh, person may become disabled while working you know atawawa disappearance and you know ana kosekana wanapotea kabisa yeah never know ya yeah. pws pws okay and uh, i'm also a human being apart from being a soldier I think uh, we are transformed from uh, that being a humble civilian uko mimi nilikuwa you and I was a student but yes yes so I'm a soldier na nimeenda nimepata ile kitu nimepata it did not work very well and I had a family also you had a family I am a father of one kid okay uh, though right now we we you are separate not, yeah as a, it's an effect of what you are asking me now you suffer from what we call PTSD post traumatic stress disorder yes 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 that's like a disability yes mwingine atakuwa amputated so i'm not amputated in anyway, my but uh, brain was I, i was and i've been on hearing process uh, trying to recover from those wounds through media mukuria yes 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 Uh, to north atungekuwa uh, tunaongea naye kengoli bana nataka nilikuwa na watch shows zako saa hii ningekuwa nime zingekuwa zimeshika 
John aliniambia by the by the John aliniambia ukweli before to the show that zake zilikuwa zinashika anavunja TV kwa nyumba anaenda ku watch weekend huko nje. Yeah. Can what you doctor the body. Manzi. Na at, at that point going through that how, how realize as in you, you how realize as, what makes you don't realize anything uh, in life wewe uko kwa dunia yako peke yako you know you are from war zone yes. where you are used to kama tuseme somalia no sleeping isn't it hakuna kulala hakuna kufunga jicho every time you are on guard na risasi kila mahali ambushes Yeah you ambushed and you must hear your fellow colleagues are not there you have to pick their bodies and well, yeah many things so our yeah. uh, frost very many close friend like now uh, you said about erade you lost a friend uh, a, a, a gentleman who was a class behind me i lost three officers from my intake wenye tutoka na siku moja hivi na tumekuwa nao miaka tatu the we are commanders there but they were written off by the war yeah Polisana. so kuna hizo you tend to naitwa nini ni kama una zina ku weigh down yeah yeah they haunt you yes, even yes. you don't sleep you don't hakuna mtu yani hakuna kitu mzuri unaona kwa hii dunia na ulienda mara ulienda ulienda boni forest ukarudi ulikuwa sawa Okay. Yeah no from Boni forest you transited I transited to Somalia it's one way Oh ukienda mnaenda mkienda Ah mnaenda mkienda bwana Si ati unaenda unarudi break home kidogo unaenda Hakuna when you break from okay like now you are, you are taken to Boni forest then at to kupe break Sasa <laughs> tukupeleka Somalia does it make sense no, no, no. kuwa continuous Yes Yeah because now if you are given time to go yes. back sasa hiyo PTSD hata sasa ita, ita nini kama umeitoa bond forest uta transfer sasa kwa kwa kikosi hasira has inaenda ikipanda ukienda exactly ukirudi sasa unaona vitu hiyo hata watu kwa, kwa kikosi yako hamwezi kuelewana na mtu nyinyi mnakuanga team moja but inafika yeah, mahali yeah yeah itafika mahali sasa nobody is with the other so you are sent Now you come back from Somalia and you are told to go home for 42 days go and meet your family for 42 days So what about the wife that you are having and the kid and the, the rest of the family now they are civilian and they don't know an animal is brought to us because uh, PTSD is an emotion hakuna hata process hakuna process ati umetoka Somalia kuna mtu anakuongelesha before you go home. Uh, that, that's the where Ken, Kenya now I think they have missed the point uh, that's where true north coming. Yes. So yes. Uh, we didn't go through that process. Kami si kupera kwa through that process though nilimaliza niko na medo ya EU for having participated in the in peacekeeping and restoration as a part of military component lakini sasa si unaona nimerudi even hata sitaki kazi sasa ama sijijui hata hata siyo akicheza na mimi tunaweza malizana na yetu hapo sasa hiyo yeah so i'm taken back home i have to be, be to be rude no rude and also to be mtumbaya ruthless yeah, let me use the word ruthless to my family the society and uh, you can witness it because nikiwa mimi nikichukuliwa cadet uh, i was medically fit so you are taken as uh, very medically lakini like sasa you never notice kama mkono wangu hii moja iliumia pole nikiwa tu home na vita zangu kupigana na polisi uh, mwangi alikwambia jua mwezi wa leo osiyes mwenye alikuwa na understand about ptsd uh, and uh, he knew what and started telling me ananiuliza na hiyo hiyo ana jeshi wanatupa wenzao huku nje they want to kill them yeah 
we don't we don't have those skills to survive huko nje hizo wenye unafikiria it can take you even to death bila kujua siku survive huko nje and i lost that those years i lost him last week nili nili muzika okay are you in a ni kama uko kwa nini kwa darkness am i don't do in the okay 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 na major what has it taken to get john from hiyo vile alitoka job to where tunakaa na yeye sahi anasema kama si kawaida angekuwa amepita na sisi hapa vibaya sana <laughs> from the very beginning i have been a very firm believer in the redemptive aspect for military veterans because i suffered ptsd i know the darkness he's talking about i know what it means to feel disconnected from myself and from other people and feel like my body has its own mind but my mind is not present and they all deserve a second chance look at john he's only 32 years old yeah right what are we saying that his life doesn't matter because they actually have this out of body out of spirit out of this earth experience you know so we have a word that we call it we just call it walking dead military veterans are walking yeah, dead yeah. especially of his generation you know there are those who are much older because you know military veterans in this country are as far as the history of the military of this country but throughout the ages not all of them have undergone the same experience but you have this generation that especially came uh, with our entry into Somalia in 2009 their experience is historical it's exceptional and it cannot be business as usual for that particular generation moving forward because as you have seen they need to feel a sense of safety and protection and care more than anything else i believe pia john are uh, on his different stages of recovery will still continue to have a conversation with him niko sure kuna story anaweza penda kutuambia kama eh, immediately ukitoka back feeling ya kutoka kwa zone ni gani these are vibes tunaweza ongelea maze but sasa maze time history ni refu history ni refu sana so please allow us to extend this conversation to our next episode featuring uh, uh, dr wairimu mukuria, mukuria na mr kamau na joseph simion is in story yani bado bado so for now that's it for the weekend edition see you next week my name is dr kimbo